Hello. <laughs> Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday to ye. Um, I haven't filmed a Things I'm Loving video in a really, really long time. It's been a couple of months and so I thought I would film one for you today. Now a lot of these products, sorry, a lot of products in general, I haven't really changed. I kind of came home after my month and a half of being away and was like, so many new things. I didn't really know what to do with myself and there's a lot of things that I'm loving that I mentioned in last Friday's video. Um, there's a lot of things I tested in, you know, the next video. Friday, you're going to be seeing that on Friday. Uh, there's a lot of new things I'm loving, but I don't want to be too repetitive in this moment, so I'm just going to talk about some things I'm loving and try not to be too repetitive, is what I was trying to get at. <laughs> anyway, things I'm loving, things that are tickling my fancy right now. Let's hop into it. First of all, I am just going to, you know, really drive this home because I'm super excited about it, but as you guys know, if you've been following me for a long time, Leah Alexandra is a jewelry brand that I absolutely love. She is a local lady here in Vancouver, and she makes beautiful, beautiful jewelry. One of the first pieces I ever bought from her was the Or a ring. Um, I bought it in Moonstone. This is actually the rose quartz one, but love her pieces so much. These are her necklaces, and I'm also wearing her earrings, and I just, I love her stuff so much, and she's hooked me up with a discount code, so I'm really, really excited and super proud to be able to give you guys a 10% off discount code. So if you use the code Alana, you can get 10% off of your pieces, and I'm mentioning this now because I've actually really, really been loving these necklaces and these earrings in particular. I'm going to list them in the description box down below, but I know never wear necklaces. I don't know if that's something you guys notice, but I I just, I don't really own necklaces. I don't really wear necklaces. I used to be really, really into wearing like the big chunky necklaces while I was filming. If you guys have been following me for like years back in 2014. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling, but basically I never thought I'd be a necklace person, but I'm really loving the smaller kind of dainty chain. I'm obsessed and now you can get a discount on your purchase and she ships worldwide and all that. So super excited about that. Thank you, Leah. I am loving your stuff as always. Yeah, that was kind of the first thing. I think I'm going to do hair stuff because I never talk about hair. And a lot of you guys ask me what kind of purple shampoo I use and I, I'm assuming that this can be found elsewhere, like maybe on Amazon and stuff, but I actually got this from my hairstylist, Armin This is what I use. I bought the jumbo size from Armin because I didn't want to have to worry about it too much. I don't really like switching up my hair products a whole lot. I kind of like to use and stick to the same thing, but I have the Kevin Murphy Angel Washes. This is the Angel Wash Shampoo, and then this is the Blonde Angel conditioner and this is like the purple agent this is kind of the toner that keeps the blonde blonde and I haven't had it done since it would have been June because I still haven't gotten my hair done since I've been home and the color has held up so well like I was swimming in chlorine swimming in salt water basking in the sun and my hair did not turn yellow so very very impressed with this I packed some of this in some travel containers to go and this is what I was using while I was away. Just thought I'd mention that this is the shampoo and conditioner I use and love. I've been using it for the last few months. I think it's been at least three or four months that I've had those and they're fantastic. So if I can find a link to them where you can buy them online, I will include that. But otherwise, any hair salon that stocks Kevin Murphy or um, beauty supply stores often have these. Really loving them. I think they're fantastic as well as this product from Kevin Murphy. This is the Bedroom Hair Flexible Texturizing Hairspray. This is what I have in my hair now. This is a texturizing spray and I'm just gonna say I love it. It's a really nice, alternative to the Orbe texturizing hairspray if you don't want to spend your entire bank account on a uh, one hair product but this one smells like old ladies that's the only downside like I spray this in my hair and it has such an old like stale smell I don't know I really don't like the smell dear Kevin Murphy please change the smell of this because it's tragic but the product itself is really beautiful so if you're looking for a texturizing hairspray that works and isn't a million dollars this is a good one to go for so that's it for the hair that's pretty much all I have to report on to makeup and you know beauty related things so this body oil I mentioned it if you guys watch any of my Ibiza videos. I talked about this. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw this. I actually posted like my skin totally soaked in this on Instagram. People were like, whoa, that's crazy. I was like, I know. So this is the NARS Manoy Body Oil 1. It's a bronzing body oil and it is fan freaking tastic It is so beautiful. It makes you look so tanned and it has the most beautiful glow that it just rubs all into the skin. It was so gorgeous. I soaked my body in this while we were in Ibiza, but I also noticed that a lot of people were asking if it rubs off on things. 
And I just gotta say, yes, it does. It does not dry down. It definitely stays sticky and oily. Like this would be, I wore this on with my jumpsuit at the white party and it didn't get onto my jumpsuit. Like I thought that my arms pressing down might put it onto that white jumpsuit I was wearing, but it didn't. However, I had the body oil on and then I put like my cover up over top of it and it just turned the whole thing brown, which is to be expected. Like if you're rubbing body oil all over your arms, don't put a long sleeve on after, you know, but just like rubbing it on your chest and whatnot is fine, but just definitely be wary of that maybe just wear black if you're using this but as a bronzing oil in itself it's just so gorgeous and I just found it made such a difference in my skin and thought I'd mention that I think it's so beautiful and it will definitely be like a vacay staple if you're you know going somewhere hot if you're gonna be in a bikini pool parties whatnot this is this is gonna be your best friend so love that the NARS Manoy another bronzy thing that I have been loving but I've also been using it a lot so I won't talk too much about it here but it's the Drunk Elephant De-Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. It basically does what this does. It just gives the most beautiful bronze glow, but for your face. And I guess it's pr protecting against pollution as well. Oh, it also says you can apply to chest, legs, or anywhere else you want a touch of bronze. Interesting. This is a really small bottle. I would not recommend dosing your entire body in it, but for the face, it was beautiful. I used like half of this tube on the entire trip. I took this with me to all of Europe and I wore it every single day. Mixed in with tinted moisturizer, mixed in with my primer. It was beautiful. It gave such a warm glow to the face and I love it so much. And just to just to finish off with my sunshine bronzy talk, I did want to mention again the Sephora summer favorites that I had mentioned many times already over the summer. But right before I left for Europe, I bought the Sephora summer favorites and I noticed it's still on the website. And the reason why I want to talk about it again is because a lot of you will message me asking like which bronzer should I get this one this one or this one or which highlighter this one this one or this one and the thing I love about the summer favorites is it, is it kind of has all my favorite bronzers in it and the highlighters and they're all in like this miniature cute cute form but there's also a lot of product in here like the Tarte Park Avenue Princess, the Benefit Hula, it has the Becca bronzer, the Hourglass Vanish Stick highlighter, like there's so many options. So if you weren't sure on which product you wanted to splurge on for the full size, then you can kind of test all of these out, but you're still getting a lot of product. Like one of those little Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer samples lasts months and months and months, like soaking your whole face in it. So I think that's such a nice way for you to kind of figure out what full size product you'd want in the future and kind of play with a bunch of different options. So I'm gonna link the Sephora Summer Favorites down below because I think it's such a great product. I love that they do that. It's really nice if you are unsure of which product you wanted to try. So I thought that was great and I'm really glad it's still available and I hope that that's something they continue to do with the bronzers and highlighters because those are my two favorite things. <laughs> I want to talk about this concealer for the five millionth time. You guys will be seeing me talk about it on Friday's video as well, but I just have to say that the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, I have the shade Light Beige. It's so good. It's on my face right now and it just makes your skin look flawless and it does not crease, it does not flake. It's so, so good. You get a lot of product in here. It's a huge doe foot applicator. It's such a great product. I'm so impressed. I haven't really been impressed with a concealer like this in a really long time. And I wasn't expecting to really like a full coverage concealer. Like I've been really going for the lighter coverage look. Dan's all upset. He's like, stop covering your freckles. <laughs> but I just love it. If you're having a breakout, if you're having kind of a really tired skin day, it just so nicely brightens the face. It covers everything up but doesn't settle into any lines or flake or anything. It's so good. And I'm really surprised that I liked it so much because I did not like the Born This Way foundation. Um, so whatever they did with the concealer, they did it right. It says, oh, I didn't even realize it says super coverage. <laughs> so good, loving this concealer right now. And that'll probably be a favorite for a while. Okay, so that's it for makeup. I told you there wasn't a lot, but basically after Friday's video, I'll have a lot more favorites and you know, anyway, anyway. In terms of lifestyle things, now with the books, I've kind of started, I haven't started anything, but I've kind of been posting like the books that I've been reading on Instagram and whatnot, but I'm just gonna put a list, a list of all the books I read in Europe this summer right here. I'll also write them in the description box down below. I love them all. I'm really loving the like thriller style book. You know, if you go to Chapters or Indigo, they have like the thriller book in all of the books that I just put here. <laughs> 
are all like on the same table but you know they all have a pretty similar plot line but I always find myself being just as surprised at the end with you know a plot twist and they've been really good and they've been really nice like quick easy reads and it's just been a nice way to get off my phone or get off a screen for a little while so those are the books that I have been loving and finally this is super random but this was actually um, an item that Miss Samantha Ravindal introduced into me and Dan's life and we went to the grocery store with Sam one day and she was like oh my gosh this is the best kimchi of your life you guys have to eat it and try it and we put it on avocado toast and it was life-changing it's this wild brine a Korean kimchi this this bad boy right here I don't know what it is about this the flavor is so good we've tried a couple other kimchis that just don't compare so I actually drove out to where Sam lives and I and I bought this the other day because it's that good but what I also like about it is they thinly slice the kimchi because a lot of other kimchis um, they have like really large full pieces of cabbage in it which I don't really like I like it to be a little bit more shredded and I know that's so random this is so random but if you were looking to eat kimchi and add it to your avocado toast life then this is great and naturally probiotic <laughs> yeah anyway thank you Sam for this discovery it's been great and it's delicious and now you guys know it too. I almost forgot. Dan just um, brought me my bra. That's my last favorite. Okay, no, but for real. I, I actually can't believe I forgot this. Dan, you're a genius. It's called Pretty Care. <laughs> so Dan ordered these on Amazon the one day because the, the problem with the blinds in my house is they are not blackout and it gets so bright. The sun in the morning is just like beaming directly into our eyeballs and it's the worst. The moment light touches my eyelids, I'm awake and my sleep is disrupted and Dan being this sweet, thoughtful, loving angel that he is was like, babe, I bought you these eye masks. And he had ordered these on Amazon and the reason why they're so good is because A, it has the slit for your nose to fit, but it also bubbles out like a bra so it doesn't actually press tightly on your eye. It's not like squishing your eyelashes. It just lightly sits. It completely blacks out everything and the sleep has been lovely ever since. So Dan, bless you, bless your heart. And if I can find the link, to where he got it, I will list it down below for you as well, but these were great. Sweet little eyebrows to wear to bed. Great. So, everyone, those are all the things that I have been loving as of late. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below the things that you have been loving as well. And I will, you know, film another one of these in another couple months time where there's more things that I've been loving that I want to share with you. So, thank you so much as always for watching this video, everyone, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!